whistleblower UFO wreckage recovered by the U.S. kept classified by a secret government program for decades. Tonight, a world television exclusive you will only see on News Nation. Welcome to Elizabeth Vargas Reports, earning your trust every night. UFOs exist. The U.S. government found quite a number of them, and they are indeed of non-human origin. Those are the explosive allegations from a former intelligence officer tonight in a whistleblower complaint that the inspector general is taking very seriously. 36-year-old Air Force veteran David Grush is exposing what he calls a top-secret military program that has reportedly found wreckage of fully intact UFOs. The government now calls them UAPs, or Unidentified Anomalous Phenomena. For years, there have been whispers and rumors that the government had aircraft of non-human origin. This report is the first evidence it might be true. The inspector general has called Grush's complaint urgent and credible. Tonight, we have a world television exclusive interview with the whistleblower in which he claims we not only have the aircraft, but the government has been keeping much of it secret from Congress and from the public. News Nation senior national correspondent Brian Enton is here with the story, and this is a blockbuster. It is a blockbuster. It's really hard to wrap your mind around this. I've been working on this for the past couple of weeks. I'm still having a hard time processing right. uh, processing all of it. All, over the last couple of years, it sort of became mainstream to discuss UFOs. The government has released videos. They've acknowledged that we don't know what some of this stuff is out there that we have on camera, but this really takes it all to another level. For the very first time, the world is about to hear from a former high level U.S. intelligence officer who says the government has some of the unidentified craft in its possession. He is revealing these exclusive details about the secret government program. We're all going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots to the west. Oh my gosh, dude. Wow. <laughs> we have all seen these blurry videos of unidentified flying objects. Video evidence, if you will, that old tales of UFOs may not all be conspiracy theories. In recent years, Congress starting an official U.S. government Unidentified Aerial Phenomena Task Force, recently renamed the All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, or ARO. And now in a News Nation exclusive, David Grush, an Air Force veteran, former member of that task force, and veteran of the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency, is formally blowing the whistle on secrets he says no one has ever shared publicly before. You are one of the most trusted former intelligence officials in the U.S. defense and intelligence establishment. Yes, I was. You were trusted with the most intimate secrets. Yes. Grush sitting down with award-winning investigative journalist Ross Coldhart, who's reporting for News Nation and has spent years reporting on the UFO question. What conclusion did you come to at the end of your time on the UAP task force? Uh, the UAP task force was refused access to um, a broad crash retrieval program. When you say crash retrieval, what do you mean? Uh, these are retrieving non-human origin uh, technical vehicles, you know, call it spacecraft if you will, non-human exotic origin vehicles that have either landed or crashed. We have spacecraft from another species. We do, yeah. How many? Quite a number. You're kidding. No. I thought it was totally nuts, and I thought at first I was being deceived, it was a ruse. People started confiding in me, they approached me. I have plenty of current and former senior intelligence officers that came to me, many of which I knew almost my whole career, that confided in me they were a part of a program, they named the program, I've never heard of it, and they, they told me, based on their oral testimony, um, and they provided me documents and other, other proof, that there was, in fact, a program that the UAP task force was uh, not read into. Grush alleges the U.S. government has recovered non-human craft for decades. He's filed a whistleblower complaint saying he gave what he calls the classified proof to Congress and the intelligence community inspector general. News Nation has confirmed David Grush's credentials and resume. We've not seen or verified the alleged proof he says he's provided to investigators. He says he can't show us the proof for national security reasons. He also tells us he's not seen photos of the alleged craft himself, but has talked extensively with other intelligence officials who have. If you're right, if you're telling us the truth, mm -hmm. 
everyone, the entire American public, has been lied to for decades. Yeah, there's a sophisticated uh, disinformation campaign targeting the U.S. populace, which is extremely unethical and immoral. You are saying to the human race, for the first time, an official intelligence representative at a high level from the U.S. government is saying publicly, we are not alone. We're definitely not alone. Absolutely, the data points empirically that we're not alone, yeah. Do we have bodies? Do we have species of well, well, naturally, um, when you recover something that's either landed or crashed, um, sometimes you encounter um, dead pilots. And uh, believe it or not, as, fa as fantastical as that sounds, it's true. It's also harder for people to wrap their minds around the concept of a crashed object from somewhere else. It's easier to accept that, yeah, we see things in the sky that we can't explain. Journalist Leslie Kane broke Rush's whistleblower story this morning in the debrief. Ms. Kane's career has been mainstream and credible, having written a series of reports on UFOs in the New York Times dating back to 2017. He has the credentials, but there's no documents that he's handed over. There's no pictures. And as a journalist, you want to see documents. You want to see pictures. Does that raise a red flag? Not at all, Brian. I mean, you mean documents that actually describe the craft? Correct, that, yeah, like government yeah. documents, or to, to be able to see it for ourselves. Of course, don't we all want that? And uh, the problem with that is all of that information is classified. You know, as we said in the story, everything that Grush told Congress and told the, the um, inspector general of both the IC, the Intelligence Community Inspector General, and the Department of Defense Inspector General, all of that information is classified. In 2017, Kane reported exclusively in the New York Times that the Pentagon had a secret UFO program. Three years later, the Pentagon confirmed her story. Her latest report is even more explosive, but Kane says she has multiple sources who back up Grush's story. I believe it because of all the sources I have who have told me the same thing. So who am I to doubt these very, very high level people who have been inside these programs for decades? have done their work and are all telling me the same thing. I mean, I, I don't think there's some kind of a conspiracy among all these people who don't know each other to make something like this up. So I've got to be blunt about this. Yeah. You're not making this up. This no. is not a lie. No, absolutely not.